All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to import a DXF file into 2020. Uh, you can see here that I'm using 2020 design. You know, 2020 does have a few different products. So if you're using a different product uh, that they offer, this process may be slightly different. But for the most part, I'm going to hit on the important topics, and the process should be similar enough at least to figure out from here. So what we'll do first is obviously you need to export your drawing out of render as a DXF. So what you'll go and uh, do is uh, go into the space that you'd like to export, open that up and hit the export button in the top right hand corner and export DXF. You're going to be given a couple of options here that you need to pay attention to. And the first one is your measurement units. 2020 uh, has the ability to import both metric and imperial. In the US, most, mostly everything's going to be imperial anyway. So I would um, select inches because 2020's imperial import is going to be in inches. You just want to make sure that your export out of render matches the import in the program that you're using. And in this case, it's going to have to be inches. You can also select whether or not you'd like it to correct angles. Now, the LiDAR scan uh, is not 100% perfect. Uh, so when you're scanning a space, uh, it may have some of those walls at 89.99 degrees, not quite a full 90. So you can have render automatically adjust those angles uh, if you so choose. In this case, I didn't do that with this particular import. I just imported, sorry, exported my DXF with inches and then dropped it into my desktop on my computer. It's going to be right here. Okay, and you want to make sure this file type is set to the DXF uh, drawing here, the 2D DXF. We're going to import this. You can see all my layers are showing up here. We code all these things so that we can easily see what's what. Again, you're going to want to make sure this is set to Imperial. And then you're going to import this as an image. That way it just kind of locks everything all together. And it shows all of those things color coded. You'll see here, I think this is just zoomed in. So my 2020 is frozen up. Uh, let me zoom out here so you can see this entire basement is pulling through. And this is basically uh, your sketch that you would typically do on graph paper and have to put into the um, 2020 program here. It's automatically here. So all we need to do at this point is just trace over it. Now, forgive me, I did not bring my mouse home. So this is all being done with my finger on a trackpad. So it's not going to be as easy. So I'll just quickly, and you're, you would probably do a better job at this, but I'm just going to quickly draw over some of these exterior walls and show you the process of messing with some uh, doors and windows. Yeah, this is not as clean as I'd like to have on a demo video, but for the most part, you can see that, you know, all my walls are now in. I can adjust these too by just clicking and dragging this and pulling it up to where that wall line is. Now what we'll do is we'll drop in our doors. Uh, so you would just go through and see all these red marks here. We're gonna drop in a door. This is a slider, but I'll just keep it a hinge door for now. And we're going to drop that in. And then we're just gonna manipulate the size here to the size of that red line. So pull this side down, and pull this side down a little bit too. Now the, there's a yellow line here, which uh, denotes a window. Let's just select our window tool, drop that in. Just leave it as a double hung for now, but you would just set that. You can use your defaults for a lot of these things, especially in like adjacent rooms when it doesn't really matter uh, so much like the styles, it's more or less just showing a homeowner where things are in a given space. And so I would just basically go through and I would finish tracing a couple of these walls. I would drop in my doors, drop in my windows, and I am off to the races. So. Two and a half minutes to scan an 1800 square foot space and probably a good two to five minutes maybe entering the uh, walls, tracing the walls, and then of course dropping those windows and doors where they need to go. And that is it. So if you have any questions about this process, feel free to reach out, aj at render.com. You can always submit a support ticket as well, support at render.com if you have any questions about how this process works.